Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. I don't know the rest of the words from there. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Hello, Effingham Say, I know, you're so ready, aren't you? It's been a whole week since the video's come out. So, um, but I made some crafts for you because today is themed Thursday. So hopefully this video will upload today. And get out there so let me dive right into what i've made for you this week by the way there is a haul coming out as well so um and i am uh spending the next few days finishing up getting the house all cleaned up for our estate sale if you don't know what i'm talking about well stick around become a bestie and you'll learn all about my life and it's so exciting sometimes all right so i think the theme for today's video is bunnies so, um, for those of you who watch, you know that this channel is Dollar Tree. It's like 100% Dollar Tree. Why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is what, Effingham? What is it? It's a dollar and a, and a quarter. That's correct. So, a dollar and a quarter, and we are so happy about that because it makes it fun to do some crafts. I have somebody at my house. Hold. Okay, so I stopped my video because Flora was here, and then um, I thought I was videoing. Apparently, I wasn't. So I went to download all my videos and there was no video. I was like, wait, what happened? So I'm gonna start over again. I have no idea where I was before I interrupted, but hey, it's a themed day and this channel is Dollar Tree. I think I already went over all that. So the theme today was was um, bunnies, Easter bunnies. Hence, here comes Peter Cottontail. So um, my very good friend, M Minnesota Mickey, sent me a case of these signs last year. And so this year I'm trying to use that stuff that's in my stash, right? And my hair is just a mess, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm working hard today at home and I stopped to make this video, so. All right, so she sent me a case of these and so I really wanted to use them, hence bunnies became the theme because I decided I was gonna, first of all, remake this sign. So let me talk about what we did with this sign. This is the original, this is what I did to it. So it's so cute, I absolutely love it, wait. Hold on, let me just show you guys how I did this. All right, let's make a, we're gonna redo a sign. So I have this sign here, which they have it in a couple of different colors. I think there's like a green one and a wood one. Anyway, I really like the, the white. So I'm gonna take this sign and completely upgrade it. I'm gonna use a couple of hair clips because I love, I love the bunny tail colors here and some beads. So, and probably some white shoe polish and probably a pencil and maybe some sandpaper. Not sure yet. Anyway, so let's create. Let's start with the white shoe polish. I'll take all the, the tags and everything off of here and the bunnies. Um, and then just, just watch when I do the sides. God, you guys, you see how that completely finishes it? Anyway, so on this one, I also did the back of it uh, just to give it a more um, cohesive look and that just sort of finished off the back. I think I did like three coats on this to get it completely covered. And now I'm just going to go through and darken up those plank lines just using a pencil just to add some darkness in there and then taking my ruler and I'm going to sort of push those in to give a more three-dimensional look to that faux plank look, right? So I do it on both of them. So I'm just using my small scissors closed and just sort of creating grooves in those lines. All right. So now we're going to take this sign and sort of age it up a little bit, right? Um, taking some black shoe polish and just darkening the lines, going around the edges, just sort of 
This is like when people sort of dry brush on to age something. Only I use shoe polish. <laughs> it works amazing. Then I got my sanding block and I'm just going to do some sanding. I'm sanding off, by the way, all the glitter on those letters because it's just too much and I don't like it. And I thought the letters, I thought the words were kind of actually um, not real legible when they had all that glitter on them. So I'm just sanding away some of that black that I've thrown on there and it really does give this an age look. Concentrated a little bit harder on those grooves and then added in some more black to really darken those up. And there, look at that, bam, those planks look like they're real. Now, <clears throat> once I finish this, um, I think I grabbed my markers, which I didn't talk about as a tool that I was gonna use for this craft, but uh, these are the paint brush markers from Dollar Tree. I do really, really love these. And so, um, as I'm looking at the words, I'm gonna just sort of outline is what I started to do. And in the end, I end up filling in the entire letter um, just to really make it pop. And there's like the glitter is gone. Like there's hardly any remnants of that glitter now. Um, and then taking a pencil just to add some shadowing and make those uh, letters pop just a little bit more. This is a super easy trick, by the way, you guys. So you're not using um, a marker. You're just using a pencil, which is a really, you know, it's a light lead. And so it really helps to find those letters. And then I'm sanding over them again just to sort of age them. But okay, so now I'm gonna do the top one here in the cursive. And I used a purple because I didn't want to use that same blue. These were two different colors on the original sign. So I stuck with that theme. And um, I, just, I love this purple color on this brush. But these brush tip markers are so phenomenal. I encourage everybody to hit them. They're, they work really well. Just, it's like you're painting, which I always say markers are just paint. I use them like that all the time. Okay, and then just sanding that again, sanding it down, and it sort of dulls down that coloring um, from the marker, but you can certainly read the letter, the words better now. They're just darker. So let's move on to bunnies. So I've got to take the bunnies off of the string that they're already on, of course, because I'm going to embellish this a little bit more. And finishing those bunnies off with these markers, again, it just pops them. Just outlining that so that there's not MDF on the side, there's no wood. Um, it really, really helps finish them. So I do all the bunnies. And I did not outline the one in the middle that was just the burlap because that's the same color as MDF. So, and then I removed these little cotton ball <laughs> tails. They were super small. And we're gonna bougie these these little bunnies up a little bit. So I didn't use my heat gun um, because I didn't want to, and I, I didn't think I needed to, I thought I could just prime them off because I know I'm going to glue right back on where I'm taking those tails off. So now I pull out my beads and um, I'm just playing around a little bit like how do I want to do the beads. In the end what I decided to do was um, a color of the same matching color bead alongside each colored bunny. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless me. And then um, you all said, bless me out there. Bless you out there. I heard you. And then um, a white one, a white bead in between. So it went white, blue, blue, white, pink, pink, white, um, natural colored bead for the burlap one in the middle. Now I had yellow beads and I, I thought I'd pulled them out and I couldn't find them. So I was like, never mind. I'll take some natural beads and, and paint them yellow, which I'm really glad I did because the yellow beads that you get from Dollar Tree are super vibrant and bright and so this made it a more subdued yellow so I'm glad I couldn't find him in that moment and then um, it was hanging down a little bit lower covering up the hop on the bottom a little bit and that's because I have all the extra weight that I put on with those beads so it was really push pulling it down so in the back I just added a little bit of glue to hold that string up a little bit higher now here I love these I'm gonna buy more of these barrettes when I find them so now I'm just matching the mud the bunny tails to the color bunny and this looks so incredibly adorable like it's so cute and they even had like a white one on there so if you see these there's two different sets there's um, there's three different colors in each one of them anyway I just think that this took its sign to a whole nother level it's like so cute I hope you guys like this as well super easy to transform an already cute Dollar Tree sign
pressing and everything, you guys could literally just take this sign, add the beads and the tails, and it would pop it up so much. So one last time, let's have the before and the after. It's so much cuter. So my friend Flora wants to buy all these, by the way. It's like, no, I'm not gonna let you buy them. I'll give them to you. All right, so let's go on. So I wanted to stick with the bunny theme and I'd had this sign and I actually don't like the sign. I'm gonna be honest, I did not like the sign. And you'll see in the video the originally what it looks like. So I took it to a whole nother level. It's no longer a sign. I made it a, a freestanding decor piece, which is basically a floral. And look, boom, this is so cute. So I'm gonna let you watch how I made this and then I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. All right, so what do we have? I'm starting with this sign. It says hop, but we're gonna completely transform it. And we're gonna do that using a greenery bush, one of these pencil holders, an array of the Baker's Twine eggs, a keychain, a sanding board, some white shoe polish, some black shoe polish, ribbon, maybe some markers, but definitely a pencil. You'll see. All right, we're gonna make, instead of it being a sign, it's gonna be a freestanding decor piece. Let's create. First, we're gonna disassemble. <laughs> so I'm taking that string off that's for hanging the sign, and now I've got a couple little holes in those ears. We'll take care of those. Gonna remove that bunny tail and remove that sign there in the middle. That looks so Hawaiian. I don't, don't understand it anyway. Um, and so I am taking my green marker and outlining the H and the purple marker and outlining the P. And of course, don't need to outline the um, natural colored bunny because we're going to leave that MDF on the side. But again, that pops in. Doing the same thing where I'm outlining, or I'm sorry, darkening the lines on the plank sort of things. And as I'm sandpapering, I'm sandpapering off the sparkles that are outlining these letters because I just don't like them. We're going to take it to a different place not a sparkle place and so just at, I'm just aging this up a little bit gonna get out that shoe polish here in a minute and I was vacuuming up the dust right there by the way <laughs> so I'm gonna add some shadowing and um, aging and distressing to this just with my black shoe polish which of course works brilliantly and I don't have to get out paint and a brush and all that if you guys see it you need to pick up the shoe polish <laughs> and so now I am going to fill in those bunny ears so what I do is take, the, the, the ears are exactly the same color as the jute twine. So I'm just sticking a little hot glue in there and putting little remnants of um, the jute twine in there and it's the right color and it fills it in perfectly. So, and then it's done. Now, um, I think I just used some white shoe polish to dull down it a little bit. Dull down the um, brightness on that sign. So, this is just a tumbling tower block because this pencil holder is narrower at the bottom than it is at the top, so I need the bunny sign just to match up to it so that it stands straight. I'm just going to mark where that comes to so that I know where to throw my glue down to glue this. So it's this plastic to the wood and the MDF, and it sticks totally fine. It's perfect. All right, so now we've got our stand, which it's pink, so it matches it, so it looks kind of cute. So next, I'm going to add on that bow to the bunny. I ended up cutting the piece and gluing it to the back because I needed it to cover up the strip of that was left over from the other thing that was on there. So I couldn't just tie it on in a bow because I had to make sure it laid exactly where I wanted it to. So I just went ahead and put the one piece around the neck and then I'm going to make my little bow using this ribbon and a little piece of jute twine. So when you have a one-sided ribbon like this, it is very important that you twist your ends so that everything is facing forward. So you can't just do a shoestring bow because you'll get up, you'll get you know a side of the ribbon that is not printed showing. So you have to do some twists, and then as you're tying it in the center with the jute twine, making sure that you're holding that all in place so that your tails and loops are all um, the inked, the pattern part of the the ribbon. All right, and then I glue that on. This is super easy, right? Bam, done. So. Now I go to start putting the greenery in and um, I was thinking, you know, do I need, can I just freestand it in there? And it just really needed to have something to hold it in there. So I do get out a pool noodle. I cut a piece off using the pool noodle knife, which is really amazing. Glue it down there in the center. And then when I went to put the greenery in, it, there wasn't any, 
the, the hole in the middle was too big for it just to stand in there and hold it. So I decided to cut the pick apart so I could individually throw these little green pieces in and then they would be where I wanted them to be. I was really trying to create, you know, this sort of halo of behind the bunny. And then just started throwing in the eggs. I end up doing, um, I think it's two, well, I could look at it, but I think it's two blue, two pink, and one purple. Odd number. And the purple and the pink are so close in color, so that worked out. I did stick a little glue on the end of that one just to, so that it was at the very tippy top on the pool noodle, so I just glued it there. Anyway, this is, you know, personal preference how you're going to put them all in there. I think it looks super cute. And I missed throwing the bunny tail on. I'm sorry, you guys. too hard to make this right thought I already filmed this once as well I don't know what's going on um anyway I think it's because I have my camera I mean my phone on it was I was cleaning up my phone so I think they've got a glitch in there right now so I thought I was videoing and I wasn't so now I'm videoing and going to download in between okay so I really love how this turned out I'm so sorry like I totally missed I was so excited about putting the tail on I totally missed filming it but how cute is that and it's one of those keychains I just thought it was so cute it's like the element on Hong Kong. It's like the element on this piece that just makes it, right? I just love the, I love the tail. You like a good tail too? <laughs> okay. I mean, if you don't even have a tail. You're just a bust. All right. So, um, again, though, you guys remember, you don't have to do the distressing that I've done, but there are some key elements that I think absolutely make change things. And that's when I, when I do this, the sides of the signs, it really, really affects it. So always look to that. Removing that Hawaiian luau looking piece on there. I mean, were they left over for something? How did that go on a money? I don't know. Anyway, so I love this piece right now. It looks like the eggs are just sort of sticking out behind his ears. Okay. Um, I think it's really pretty. I just love that there's this floral effect behind it now. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like it too. And I found a way to use one of these um, pencil holders, which I bought one of each color, what, two years ago when they first came out. And I've been staring at him going like, I got to do something with him. So it worked out perfect for this. Okay, so I hope you guys like that. Okay, the next one is, I think my favorite. I think it is my favorite. Um, and it is so cool. Now when I hauled, originally hauled the, sorry, there's something on my screen. When I originally hauled these eggs, they're the speckled eggs and it's like in a necklace. Do they call it a necklace or a garland? They might call it a garland. When I originally hauled them, I said, oh my gosh, these are so good. Like I got them this year. It's one of the Easter things I bought this year. And I bought it because it was such a good decor, decor piece. For $1.25, you don't even have to do anything to it. You could have taken them off the string, put them in a bowl. You could just um, lay them over something. I mean, they are. these are just really good. These look really good. So, But I said, when I bought them, I'm making a garland. Now, because I got all of those signs that had the bunnies on them, right? The brown ones had the white and the burlap on them. So, well, actually, here. This is what I made. Oh. It's pretty long. Um, and it's so stinking cute. Don't look at my wings. Just look at my garland. Okay. It's so cute, you guys. It came out so cute. Hold on. I'll show you how I made that. This one's going to be super simple. I'm going to take some nautical twine. I love the eggs on this garland. Um, and so I'm going to make it a longer garland by incorporating. I love the little burlap bunnies on these signs. So I have three of them so I'm just gonna remove the bunnies but then I'll still have these signs in my stash to use for something else okay so um let me deconstruct and get ready to put our garland together all right so in the end I didn't use the regular nautical twine I mean the uh, jute twine I ended up using this nautical twine which is like the burlap color and the white so it was perfect it matched my bunnies and so I strung a bunny on and I'm looking at the eggs and I pull an egg off and I realize there is only one way I'm going to get string through that egg. And so I was thinking I would just leave the string in the eggs and then tie it in between each bunny. So I started to string the bunnies on. Well, after I strung a few of them on, I was like, mm -mm, that's not going to work. It's going to look funny. I really want the, the garland to go through the egg. So I ended up going getting a big needle and then I fight with the the rope not the twine sorry to get it 
through the eye of the needle. Anyway, eventually I do get it through and I just need a small little piece to go through just so I can sew it through because I'm, I don't need to pull a bunch of the string through the needle. So I do, I get it in there. And then I just start um, stringing my garland. So it's egg and then bunny and then egg and then the other color bunny. So I just took the eggs off in the pattern that they were already on the string and then just alternated the color of my bunnies until I get all the way everything is is on there. But I had, I think, three eggs left over because I was going egg, bunny, egg, bunny. And I didn't have any more bunnies, so I had just had leftover eggs. Great, because I used them in the next project. All right, so once I get that all done, then I'm like pushing it down there, trying to see what my sizing was. You can see I ended up going fairly close. And I left a lot of tail so I could play with um, where I tied it and how, you know, um, so that I would have lots of string to tie it. So first here, I see I put a little bit of space, and then I'm like, no, nope, it just looks better close. So I go ahead and do that, and then I pull out my pom-poms. And I decide to leave the white tail on all of the brown burlap ones, but on the white burlap ones, I put a color. And so I had just enough of these colored pom-poms that were all the same size to put them in there. Now, I ended up, it's a gray, which I thought was sort of like the blue. There's a yellow. And there's like a mauve that's kind of like the pink. So I think it's fine. I end up kind of matching the, um, I'm sorry, gray like the ivory ones. So the only color I didn't have for a tail was blue because the blues were too big, right? Uh, and then I thought at the end, maybe I'd throw a blue on the, on the starting bunny and the ending bunny. I decided not to. But just adding these muted pom-poms, because the, the hot pink was so... It was just too much on the white bunnies. So adding these muted pom-poms for their tails was perfect. See, I was thinking about the blue and I said, no, nope. I love this, I think it's so cute. Again, super easy. The hardest thing is to get that string through the eye of a big old needle. I need to stop and pick up, pick up a, a needle with a bigger eye on it, probably, because then I could do it. So a few things. Um, I ended up using that the nautical twine that's like the, the, the natural color in the white. And then just stringing those eggs through and adding the bunnies on. But look at what a difference taking that hot pink tail off of that bunny and switching them to the colors that match the eggs. So cute. I also left super long string on it so that I could really garland it anywhere that I want. And I, this is, I think my, no, I think my favorite might be the next piece. Oh, I don't know. This, I don't know. I love them all. These are pretty traditional Easter colors, right? So I'm not doing the farmhouse black and white, although I have done that in the past. Um, I might next week, who knows, but I'm really liking because of what was at the Dollar Tree. And this I did buy this year with those speckled eggs, which are really really good looking like they they stepped it up those are incredibly fun would be great by the way in a farmhouse decor piece with in a basket or something like that so if you see that necklace of those speckled eggs pick it up because it's amazing all right so when i did that on those signs there's more burlap ones than there were the white bunny so i ended up having two extra burlap bunnies left and also four eggs left over. So I was like, I gotta use them up in a craft. I love to do that. I like to use, like if I take, di di dissect something, I like to use all the parts. Except I did not use the Hawaiian flowers from the bunny, <laughs> okay. So I ended up making the cutest little tag tassel and I lost, I did not film for some reason. I thought I hit film and it didn't. It's okay, you guys know exactly what I did. And I made this so cute. I love this tassel, two-sided by the way. So hold on, let's see how I made that. We're going to make a tag tassel. So I have this, I have one of the um, Easter garlands from, I think they're also out this year. Two bunnies left over from my other garland I made and four eggs left over from that. And then I have parts of an Easter tassel that I took apart last year and another one of these hair clips because you know I love the bunny tails for these. All right, so what we're gonna do is, oh, and some white shoe plush. We're gonna put the bunnies on here. First, I have to cover up their ears. I'm gonna put some um, 
jute twine in there. <clears throat> and then we're going to remake our garland using the Easter beads and the eggs. It's gonna be super cute. And then on the bottom, we'll have a tassel and I'm gonna add in the bunny on the tassel and make it really cute. All right, let's go. I lost so much footage on this one, you guys, I'm so sorry. But all I do is deconstruct this tassel and I retie the knot so I can keep those beads all on there because I'll use it for something else later. Take my white shoe polish and I'm going to make this two-sided. So I'm gonna do the sides and the back and I believe I did three coats. And that's about what it takes, it's about three coats. And then after I do that, I started to string my garland together using the same tactic that I used last DIY, the craft before this, and using a big needle and going through the um, eggs and then stringing on my beads. But I didn't film it somehow. So voila, suddenly we have a done tassel. <laughs> but you can just see what I did with the colors there. And then all I'm going to do here is take this bunny and um, I'm going to re-string him, tying him onto the tassel right there. So I put string through and then wrap it around the tassel part. Notice there's a new tail on that little bunny because I added new tails onto the bunnies. There's one on either side. So now I'm just going to wrap this there and tie it on and be part of the tassel. Now I think these tassels are too long. I, they're, they make their tassels really long at Dollar Tree. So I am going to trim it down just a little bit because I think it's, um, I don't know, I just, the, it, it's, the proportion is better when you cut it down a little bit. So I cut that down and string and trim my ribbons and it's done. I think this is so cute with leftover parts, no less. So totally love this. Yes, it came out super cute using the leftover elements. But can I just one more time talk to you guys about the shoe polish? Because this was one-sided. It was MDF. But look at that great whitewash that we're getting. It's so good. So good. That shoe polish is so good for nautical stuff because you get like this really cool whitewash effect. Anyway, so it's very beachy feeling, right? So I think this just came out super cute. I'm sorry that I wasn't filming. There's something wrong. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Um, anyway, but it came out so cute. So just the pattern on the beads, which you could do however you wanted. And obviously I was matching the colors of the eggs. So there's a blue bead, blue egg, yellow bead, yellow egg, pink bead, pink egg, and white bead, um, white egg. But I guess I actually should have gone yellow, blue, huh? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's fine. So, okay. I like it. I think it's super cute. I hope you guys love this. Um, and that's it. All right. So which one of these was your favorite today? I have to say... I'm not sure. Flora wants to buy them all. Um, I really, I do really, really love the garland, but the bunny tails on this just take it to this whole other level. I'm always big on greenery. This is not my favorite though, so I know that, but I still think it's really, really cute. But just taking what I had left over and making this just makes this like super cool. Um, I'm sure somebody's done a garland with stringing eggs on it. I haven't seen it, so um, but I do love this. All right, so please tell me in the comments down below which one was your favorite today. I will be back. I should be back on Saturday for a shopping Saturday haul, Dollar Tree haul. Lots of new farm stuff. Like, man, 
I don't even know. I'm only doing, I'm only gonna redo my kitchen farmhouse because there's so much farmhouse stuff at Dollar Tree. And I have white cabinets, so I think it's gonna go really well. And my countertops have that black. Look, it's such a mess back here because of everything we're doing right now. All right, so, and I have a cow in my kitchen, right? You're gonna feel like you're at home in the kitchen finally, I mean, it's gonna be a farmhouse theme. All right, so tell me down below again, which one was your favorite? Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Um, I'm totally in love with these traditional Easter things, but I'm probably gonna give them all to Flora. So, and cause I'm just gonna make more next year. All right, guys, uh, let's see. So have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail into his nearest Dollar Tree, where he's happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. I should have done it the other way though. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, happy hunting at his Dollar Tree, <laughs> his local Dollar Tree. I don't know. All right, well ever. I don't even know when Easter is this year. You guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you back here for a Dollar Tree haul coming up. And thanks again to Minnesota Mickey, shout out for all the great stuff she has sent me that I'm crafting with and sharing with you guys. All right, don't forget, which one was your favorite? Bye.